Hey guys, it's LEGO Boys E3. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Chi Clover Cube and the Pentacle Cube. So these right here are two new puzzles from the Chi Yi brand. So we're just going to be taking a look at both of them today. So we're going to start off with this one, which is the Clover Cube. And so basically this one is, I believe, an edge turning puzzle that has these cool clover shapes on it. It actually looks pretty similar in terms of shape to the Ivy Cube. The shapes of these pieces look very similar to the shapes on this. So now that we finally got this box open, we can take a look at it. So nice little stand here, and it's in some plastic. So although it looks pretty similar to this cube, I believe it actually functions totally different. So this one is a corner turning puzzle, however this one is an edge turning puzzle. And wow, it actually looks like it turns really nicely. Uh, it's also actually really big, and yeah, compared to a 3x3 it's something like this. And a 3x3 for reference is a face turning puzzle, so these are all three different types of turning puzzles. But I believe the puzzle that this is most similar to is the Curvy Copter, which is a version of the Helicopter Cube. It's also an edge turning puzzle, as you can see here. Basically, this one is just this, but it's not cut quite as deep. And so as you can see here, when you turn a face like this, it's cut all the way down onto these two sides right here. But when we turn like this, it's not cut down quite as far. This simplifies everything a lot because these corner pieces actually just completely go away. In fact, they're actually hidden underneath all the rest of the pieces, but there's no stickers on them. And it actually makes these center pieces in the middle quite a lot bigger. And these ones are shaped like kind of leaf kind of thing, just like the Ivy Cube. Anyway, I don't think this should be too hard of a puzzle to solve, so let's just go ahead and scramble it up. So as you can see here, it just turns just like a curvy copter, just like you would expect it to turn as an edge turning puzzle. Uh, I think the hardest part for me of the curvy copter was actually the corners, and this one has no corners, so it should be quite a lot easier. Just like how the Ivy Cube is a simplified version of this cube. And I'll solve it again later, I'm not going to do it here on camera, but while we're still looking at this puzzle, I believe it can also jumble. Yeah, there we go. And so you don't really expect that when you see a puzzle like this, but just like the curvy copter, it can do the exact same thing it can jumble and so basically jumbling is just kind of where you like move around pieces in a way that doesn't really look like it should move around i'm not really sure how to explain it exactly but just kind of doing moves like if i can get this lined up like this there we go and now you can switch around pieces in a way that you wouldn't earlier have been able to like this and then you can actually just keep on going and just turn more sides like this and it just kind of turns into a whole jumbled mess literally jumbled and it can actually turn into a type of bandaging, as you can see right here. This face looks like it should be able to turn, but it can't. Because this piece right here is kind of blocking it from being able to turn. Normally this like hidden piece in the middle would be on the other side, kind of flipped around. But since it's flipped, this piece is kind of bandaging the side, and it's just not able to turn. So before you go about solving it, you kind of just have to unjumble it, which is just kind of intuitive. I don't think there's really a method to it. I just kind of do random moves until I get it back into the right spot. There we go, I got it back. Now that is pretty much it for this puzzle. As for the actual turning of it, it's really nice, like it's super duper smooth, decently fast, just kind of like the Ivy Cube, pretty similar performance there. And I guess if you were to speed solve this puzzle, this would be the one that you would want to use because it's pretty darn good. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the Pentacle Cube. So right up here, we have it in its box. It actually looks a little bit different in its uh, display packaging as the other one did. It's actually kind of standing up at an angle, which is pretty nice. The base of it's actually a little bit different. But yeah, the packaging is still pretty similar. Anyway, it's wrapped in plastic, so let's just take that off here. And now here is the actual puzzle. Now it's actually a little bit smaller than the puzzle we were just looking at. It's actually pretty similar to the size of a 3x3, maybe about the size of a 4x4, whereas the last one was about the size of a 6x6. Now upon first glance, you might be kind of confused about how exactly this puzzle turns. You might try and turn it here or here or here and not have it do anything. You might try and turn the corners but nothing really seems to work, but you may notice that you can actually turn these center pieces freely just like this. And so the thing is, if you actually line up these lines on four adjacent center pieces like this, what you can now do is turn just one side of the puzzle. And what you can actually do is turn one side, and then you can turn the opposite side by just lining up the stars in a different direction like this, and there we go. You can actually then go to a different axis like this, this and this, and now it'll turn on this axis too. 
So I think the really interesting thing about this puzzle is it has kind of that cubic dynamic, just like a three by three. Like it kind of seems like you're just turning the size of a three by three. And it seems like it should be pretty similar to that. But these centers uh, moving around freely kind of makes it like the centers of a big cube. Like you're kind of just solving each of these pieces like the centers of a big cube. But since there's five sides instead of four, it'll probably make it more like a gigaminx solve, like the centers of a gigaminx which is actually a pretty interesting dynamic, and I'm not really sure how it'll play out. I feel like it'll be pretty difficult as you're solving it, but I'm not really sure. It might be kind of easy. We'll see. But anyway, let's just go ahead and scramble it up just to see what it looks like when it is scrambled. So we can do some moves like this and just turn the same side a bunch of times. There we go, and now we can change onto a different axis maybe, like this one. I have a feeling this might take quite a while to scramble but I'll just do kind of a partial scramble just to see what it kind of turns into. So we got this and this, just kind of get rid of these big blocks here. So yeah, this actually looks like a really cool puzzle. I'm really excited to go ahead and solve it after it's scrambled up here. It's starting to look really interesting. And I think I kind of have a strategy in mind about how to solve it. So yeah, I really do like this puzzle. And that's pretty much all I have for this puzzle in particular. Let's just get it a little bit more scrambled here. There we go, and I think that is just about sufficient for now. Anyway, that is pretty much it about this video about these two cubes. They're actually two very cool cubes from Chiyi. I really do enjoy them, and I think they'll be a whole lot of fun to solve. Anyway, I would actually recommend buying these. They're $20 each. You can buy them from the link in the description down below. But yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say about these puzzles. They're really fun, and I think they are definitely worth it as collector's items. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!